Electrical sparks could start a fire, igniting natural gas or propane fumes or other combustible material. Don wires can also create a risk of shock or electrocution if a person comes in contact with energized lines. Teach all responsible household members how to shut off the electricity to the entire house. For your safety and to prevent electrical shock, always shut off all the individual circuits before shutting off the main circuit breaker. When turning electricity back on, first turn on the main breaker while all the individual breakers are off. Then turn on each of the individual breakers. Disasters such as earthquakes, floods, or windstorms might damage your propane system. Leaking propane gas can lead to fire or explosion. Because propane is heavier than air and settles to the ground, it might also be hazardous to your health and safety. It is important to know where your propane shutoff is located. Teach all responsible household members when and how to turn it off properly. When to turn it off. There are two indicators for turning propane off, smell and sound. One, smell. Propane gas has a distinctive odor of rotten eggs with a slight smell of garlic. Two, sound. The propane gas in your system is under high pressure. If the gas line has been broken or cracked, you might hear a loud hissing sound. There are two types of residential propane tanks. One type of tank is usually located out in the yard away from the house. The second type is slightly smaller and located right next to the house. This is how to shut off the valve on the type of tank that is located away from the house. Locate the access lid and open it. Locate the shutoff valve. To shut off the propane, turn the valve to the right, righty tighty until the valve tightly closes. Shutting off the valve on the second type of propane tank, the one located next to a house, is the same as demonstrated before. Locate the access lid and open it. Locate the shutoff valve. Turn the valve to the right, righty tighty, until the valve tightly closes. Natural gas leaks have been responsible for a significant number of fires following major earthquakes. For example, during the 1994 Northridge earthquake, 67% of residential fires were the result of leaking natural gas. After a major earthquake, 911 emergency responders like fire, police, even utility personnel will be overwhelmed. Consequently, it is vital that all household members know when and how to shut off the natural gas in the event they smell or notice it leaking. When thinking about natural gas, the first thing you want to do is identify where your gas meter is located. Where? Probably the front third of your house, possibly on the side, like in this case.
So once you've identified where the gas meter is, next thing is identify the natural gas shutoff valve. That will be the first fitting out of the ground is the natural gas shutoff valve. Note where it is right now because that's in the on position. Next thing you want to notice, the dials. Dials will indicate how much is being used. So the three things you want to think about is if you smell a leak, if you hear a leak, or you notice unusual usage, that might be the time to pull out the wrench and shut that gas off. Once you've determined there's a natural gas leak, take out your wrench and identify the valve, first one out of the ground. Turn it a quarter turn so it's crosswise with the pipe. Now this valve can turn in either direction. Note, never turn the gas back on once it has been shut off. If you do, you may create a gas leak in your home. Only qualified gas personnel should turn it back on. They need to inspect your system for post-earthquake leaks and equipment failures.